Future Jobs Fund is a scheme which helps 18 to 24 year olds find employment if they have been out of work for over six months. Sadly, the scheme has now been cut by the government, but we're investigating how beneficial it's been to the individuals and organisations involved so far. We have interviewed Ross from Contour Housing Association, the individuals given placements at People's Voice Media, and Teresa and Gary, Community Manager and Executive at People's Voice Media, to get their views on the matter. Firstly, we have Teresa and Ross talking to us about how integral Future Jobs Fund is in reducing youth unemployment. What first made you consider offering work placements at People's Voice Media? We'd previously um, had people on placement via the um, Graduate Gateway Scheme at Salford University and also through the Salford City Council Future Jobs Fund scheme. And because they went really well, um, we decided to refine the offer and bring some more people into the organisation um, as start to run as staff reporters um, when Ross at Contour told us about the, uh, the opportunity to place people on the Future Jobs Fund scheme. Um, Contour is um, a housing association and one of our major things is trying to encourage um, employment in the areas where we've got houses and residents. Um, so basically the reason we, we link into this is to create opportunities for our residents and uh, and actually create jobs in the areas where we've got people living. So, In what ways does this benefit Contour? Um, in, in a few different ways. One, we get our residents the opportunity to actually go out and, and find work in their area, just down the road hopefully, like, like with this. Um, but also it benefits us because working for People's Voice Media, we're getting people who learn the skills in how to make video, um, how to make audio packages, how to uh, take photographs, how to create websites. Um, so basically they're able to then offer services to, to Contour while they're working for People's Voice Media so we can get videos made. Or... I think it's a real shame that the scheme is coming to an end um, because I know that it's of real value to a number of organisations that I've talked to as well as, as being of incredible benefit to a lot of the individuals who take part. Obviously youth unemployment is on the rise quite dramatically in this country so it seems to be a solution to a, a growing problem. Next, we interviewed Tom, Tom, Matt and Kate, who are working at People's Voice Media as part of the Future Jobs Fund scheme. We got their thoughts and feelings on the matter. Tell me about what you were doing before you first heard about the Future Jobs Fund. Um, I was just graduated from uni, looking for work, um, struggling to find work. So why did you choose to participate in the scheme? Well, there was a lot of Future Jobs Fund jobs that I applied for. But they didn't really have like a film involved, and that's what I like to do, so it's more relevant to what I do, I suppose. So, in what ways has this apprenticeship benefited you? Um, it's benefited me from, you know, you learn, you expand your horizons, and um, it also gives you something to put on a CV whenever you apply for jobs elsewhere. Um, well, it's, like I said, it's allowed me to get a lot more experience writing, and um, it's all a it's, uh, confidence builder as well, going out and meeting the community. And, getting to interview them and uh, go to various events and also we got to make videos and record audio pieces uh, which I've never really had a chance to do before. Has it made the prospect of long term employment any more achievable? Yeah I suppose so because if, I mean, if I'm going to stay here for six months I'll be able to this job that I've had so yeah. What are your feelings on the scheme being cut by the current government? I think it's a shame because it was so. I found it so hard to get jobs in other areas because everybody wanted to take on somebody who'd got all the experience needed for the job. Whereas uh, if you didn't have any, it was just so hard to get foot in the door. And this has provided that. So, so would you say the experience has been enjoyable so far? Yeah, very. Finally, we interviewed Gary, Chief Executive at People's Voice Media, to find out his opinions on the scheme. Do you think the scheme has been useful for those who have participated? Um, I think it's been great. Um, it's given real, really given people opportunities to get to work experience, which they don't previously have, and learn a whole new set of skills. Um, we also can support them in writing their CVs and job applications for the future. Uh, and we get a lot out of it as an organisation. We get different skill base, different people coming in, different perspectives on the organisation. So from our perspective, it's, it's a brilliant scheme and not only allows the individual, but allows the organisation to develop. How, how do you think People's Voice Media will be affected by the scheme coming to an end? Uh, well, the obvious effect is we'll have less people coming in, uh, but also I think um, we're not necessarily always in a position to give people jobs, but we are in a position to support people and train people. 
and that's really quite an important part. So it's good for our staff because they're training other people. We're also generating content from existing uh, uh, future jobs from people, which is always good for also for communities. So it's a shame. I think it breaks some of our links with communities. So after we've seen what a vital part of the Future Jobs Fund has been to so many young people's lives, it's definitely worth the regret that we have to see it be cut by the government. Hopefully another scheme will take its place, giving young people the experience needed to make long-term employment an achievable and realistic prospect. We spent the past week on work experience making this film on the Future Jobs Fund. It was really interesting because we learnt how to edit and make films and had fun interviewing people. It's given us an insight into the way that organisations like this work and whether we want to pursue this type of career in the future. We've really enjoyed this experience and we've learnt a lot, so thank you for giving us this opportunity.